everybody welcome back to the channel my name is Patrice and today I am collaborating with the beautiful Carolina girls in this awesome throwaway throw way a throwback um, for this Carolina girls collaboration I am so excited for working with the Carolina girls we have A and Amanda Darissa Wright are the brutally honest beauty and makeup with Jessica Vargas and also me which is unique Avon if I'm your last stop on this wonderful throwback time don't forget to leave where i am on your playlist so if i'm number three leave number three if i'm number two leave a number two or if i'm your first stop on this beautiful train leave a number one in the comment section so i know where you are in our journey well in this wonderful carolina girls collab i'm taking it way way back like 25 years back and i'm gonna show you how i did my makeup in high school yes whoa <laughs> it has been a very long time since i stepped in the halls of jacksonville high school in jacksonville north carolina and today i'm going to show you how i did my makeup kind of like the thumbnail that i have for this video that was actually taken my senior year with two of my friends jessica and kira uh, they were my ride or die chicks for a while i grew up on a military base in north carolina so Jacksonville was kind of like one of those mixed hodgepodge kind of schools where you get different people from different walks of life. You can get them in beginning their term, ending their term, or their families just basically retired after their service. And that was basically our family. Um, my father basically passed away when I was very young, and I actually grew up in Jacksonville, and I graduated in the class of 98. Go Cards! So my principal at the time at j -Ball High was Mr. Kelly. He actually followed us from elementary school when I went to Belfort Elementary up to middle school where I was at Northwoods, uh, Northwoods Middle and then I graduated from Jacksonville High School. And of course, like I said, I'm a class of 98 grad. So after I graduated high school, I went to UNCW in 99 and then I moved to Raleigh in 2001. Yeah, 2001, I moved to Raleigh. So, and I've been here basically ever since. So today on this beautiful, after I gave you that long intro, <laughs> today I'm going to show you how I literally got up, did my makeup, and went to class on this wonderful Carolina Girls collab. So every time I woke up, I went old school. I always moisturized and I've always learned how to moisturize from my mom. And I used the old school Olay. This is the light, non-greasy dermatologist tested without clogging your pores. Old school. I mean, look at that. This literally has lasted me a very long time. I loved, I've always been into skincare and everything. So I am going to start off with my tried and true, which is Olive Olay, I've always loved the way this smells, and this is like my throwback to throwbacks for this Olive Olay. Oh my gosh. All right, so that was the first thing I always did before I did anything. The next thing I did was I always grabbed my Wet n Wild Compact. Um, I literally had to go to Dollar Tree to find this compact. This is just a neutrals Dollar Tree compact, and it has dark browns, a gold, and then a lighter shade. Okay be brutally honest I was not the makeup person at all I grew up in the grunge nirvana era and a whole bunch of pop music so I grew up with Metallica I grew up with Slipknot and all this other stuff and I could have gone two different ways with this makeup I could have gone kitschy kitschy Christina Aguilera, Bubblegum Poppy, or I could have went to Nirvana, Grunge, Garbage, y'all know, okay. So I'm gonna go halfway between the Grunge and the Pop, but I'm actually gonna try to do what my thumbnail has, and that was my go-to everyday tried and true ride or die makeup. So as you see, I did moisturize with my Olive Olay. I am gonna go in with that dark brown color, and I am just gonna go right there because I didn't really know about Pompades or anything like that or any lightener and I have dark lids so I kind of like enhance them all the time when I did my makeup as you see I use no brush I went straight because I always had to be I had to take care of my brothers and you know 
I was helping my mom out with my, my sister and everything like that. And I always like swept it up. Well, in high school, I actually moved in with my aunt my senior year. I left my mom's home and I moved in with my aunt. And that is how I spent my senior year in high school. So that's what I would do on the bottom part. Then I will add a lighter shade, which I'm just going to take this finger here. I'm just going to go into this gold color and I would just put this in and just wipe it all the way down. This is basically how my makeup was in high school. I didn't know nothing about nothing. I just was trying to get out the crap out of my house. Okay. That is pretty much it. I'm actually going to go a little bit higher like that. The one thing I love to do because I would always add a light shade to like try to bring it down a bit. But that was basically it. So the next thing I did was I did grab a eyebrow brush. Yeah. Because my older sister, she was really into makeup. And what I would do is just go back and forth with my eyebrows. And that's what I would do. Now, my like I said, my older sister and my cousin were really heavily into makeup. And then I would do that to my eyebrows. I never really trimmed clip plucked anything with my eyebrows now I would go with a liner and this is just I'm gonna go with my wet and wild black eyeliner yep you heard me so <laughs> and this is just a regular pencil and of course I'm gonna draw my line so and if y'all know me y'all know that I wear glasses so that for me to get this right and be fun so draw my line hopefully I'm drawing a line hopefully I'm drawing a line today and I will also go underneath my eye because like I said I did a lot of grunge and my sister always taught me to take your pencil it go like that so that's what I would do and I will go underneath here and do that so again I'm just gonna go underneath my eye and take that and flick it <laughs> oh my god this looks so weird oh my god this is bringing so many vibes back right now 98 I'm telling y'all all right those are my eyes I kept my eyes very dark I liked them dark. It's just how I did it. Next thing I did was reach for my Wet n Wild. So I do have a Wet n Wild here. And this is the mascara. And you're just going to do that very, very heavy. And I'm also going to show you something else I would do. Okay. And I also did it on my bottom lashes. And the reason why I'm going to show you what I used to do also is because a friend of mine used to do this for hers. I always thought it was so cool. And I was like, I'll do it to mine. You take whatever mascara is left on your brush and you rake it through your brows. Back and forth. Like that. Whatever is left, rake it back and forth. Don't ask me why. It's just what I did. And, <laughs> oh, oof, it's a hot mess. Then I would take my spoolie again and make sure that it is incorporated. Because I have really thick brows. And my older sister was like, oh, you gotta enhance it. And my cousin was like, enhance it, girl. Enhance them by our brows. So that's what I learned. I learned that off a friend of mine. So basically, this is what my eyes look like. Next, we're going to go into blush. Now, I did grab this shadow here from LA Colors, and it's a very, like, smooth color. Again, I have no foundation on, and I always use my fingers. Just going to go like that. As you see, no foundation on. All right. But... What I learned from a friend of mine, 
Actually, that needs a little bit more. So basically, I would go into like an eyeshadow that was really light and just use that for my blush. And again, I was just trying to get my butt out the house on the bus. Sometimes I was late doing stuff, but I did a lot of stuff. Okay, eyes, cheeks, lips. Oh yeah, it's time for lips. We're gonna go for a black liner. I know, black liner. We're gonna go up, criss, cross. That's the way I did it. I overdrew my lips because a guy told me that a girl with big lips was pretty. At the time, I did not know I already had big lips. So that's how it went. All right. Overdraw lips. Oh my God, this is really scary right now. <laughs> I have a lipstick I've had since like freshman year, halfway to college, before I actually knew lipstick. Go ahead and put this on. Then I would rub my lips together and bring down the black liner with my finger. I did a lot of, <laughs> I did a lot of using. My fingers back then. Okay. Then. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I'm living this teenage dream right now. <laughs> I'm living my teenage dream right now. We're going to add a little bit more. And then. Just to grind it up some more, I would add the brown shadow I had for my eyes into my lips. Yeah, we did that. Because I loved the color. And that's what I would do. And I just keep using my finger. Because I didn't like my lips really shiny, but I liked the color. So. There's that. All right, I'm just gonna add a little bit more brown to my lid there, because I used to have that dark, dark brown, because I didn't really wear blacks a lot, because my eyelids were black, and I was like, why though? So, I'm just gonna add a little bit more of that gold up here, but you're gonna see, I'm gonna blend it down again. and try to bring the brown up. There we go. Oh, I found it, yay. Okay. I'm gonna add a little bit more color to this cheek here. Again, all with my fingers. All right. And sometimes I would get adventurous, especially if I'm going on a date, and cut a little bit of whatever blush I'm wearing on my lip. Just right in that center. Like if I was going to the, you know, bowling alley or whatever. But that needs a little bit more dark. Hold on, I need to find my dark again. Aha, I found you. Again, I was very grungy in school. A lot of my high school pictures were very like, don't touch me, don't come near me. So, I was very kind of standoffish in school, but thank God for my principals and my counselors. They helped me a lot in school. I mean, a lot in school. Okay. And then we're gonna define the lips again. I don't know why. The lesson to that guy comes over your lips. Okay. 
Oh my God, this looks scary. Just checking in my mirror. Oh my God, this looks so scary. Y'all, tell me. Now the one thing I did pride myself on was my lipstick. Like, I tried to make sure it was like totally in place. Totally. I was trying to make sure. There we go. My lipstick was always put on together, like put together. Because I pride myself on my lipsticks. So. I am literally trying to make sure I get my lipstick right. Ooh. She is looking 17, y'all. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, and then I would smoke this part out. So. I would literally scrub my finger and just do this because I loved having the dark, dark under eye. Like I was like that kind of chick. It's a lot of smudging. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this literally is how my makeup was in high school. I know trust me I know but I thought I was hot stuff okay I thought it was the it y'all thought it was the it yes she was the it she was everything so this was my makeup like 17 and a half because I graduated in June and my birthday is in July so this is how literally my makeup would look at that age I was I was not having it my senior year I was just not and I was listening to a lot of Nirvana now if you guys lived like in 90, if you were born in like 95 when there, when Kurt Cobain passed, I mean, oh my gosh, everyone in my school was just like dark eyes and everything. It was so, it was so tragic. I'm sorry. It was tragic. I loved Kurt Cobain. So this is how I looked in high school. <laughs> so I do hope that you enjoyed this blast back to high school with my beautiful Carolina girl sisters. Also, if you love to see how we do our self-care or anything else here at Unique Avon, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Do not forget to turn on that notification bell so you can be uploaded each and every time we post a video here. And when you're done or if I'm your last stop on this Carolina train, thank you so much. And if I'm your second, third, or even first stop, don't forget to go back and look at all the beautiful Carolina girls. It will be, of course, down in the description box below. I would love to thank Jessica, Darissa, and Amanda for all the wonderful collabs we're doing here for the Carolina Girls. I am having a blast just doing off, off my norm. <laughs> and I am loving it. And this literally took me back to 1998. This took me back to high school. I was literally... 17 and a half and this is how my makeup looked I did not use brushes the only brush I did use was the eye spoolie but basically I could just use my mascara and do the same thing I used my fingers a lot and I had to wipe a lot of it off on my towel but oh my gosh this is so this was fun oh my gosh I forgot what my makeup actually looked like in high school now as you saw mama did remember to moisturize so remember that Skin care is self-care. So remember that tip. I had a blast doing this. <laughs> I had a blast doing this. This was so much fun. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. And from my family to yours, have a great day. God bless and we'll catch you on the flip side. Crew, and we up in the clouds when people change, but not.